In this video, we're going to go through a basic overview of the Ronin Remote Controller. In addition to settings, the remote can control the movements of the Ronin with a secondary operator. First, let's bind our remote to our Ronin. On the Ronin, select Bind from the Settings menu and select Start. Then press the side buttons C1, C2 and the record button on the remote simultaneously and wait for 2 seconds. A beep should indicate it's in bind mode. When the status indicator turns solid green, the remote is bound to the Ronin 2. Now that we're bound, we have our joystick which controls pan and tilt, and the roll is controlled with a knob in the center. To control the speed of each axis, the dials at the top can be adjusted to suit your operating style from slow to fast. If there's a drifting issue with the joystick, you can recalibrate the endpoints. To do so, let's pause the motors first. Press once, then press again and hold down C1 and C2 buttons simultaneously, the remote will start to beep. Move the joystick and the roll adjustment knob to their full range a few times and press and hold the C1 and C2 buttons again to exit calibration mode. For more advanced controls such as channel mapping or reversing joystick input style, a dedicated channel management menu is accessible both on the Ronin app and the integrated screen. On the right side of the screen, there is a port labeled D-Bus. This allows the connection of third-party receivers with a special UART to D-Bus cable. 